We create a lot of trash, and when I say a lot, I mean 3.2 million tons of plastic and other solid waste every single day. That's almost the weight of 1.4 million adult male giraffes, and that doesn't even include all the toxic chemicals we're pumping into the oceans, land, and air. Here are just five types of waste that could wipe out life as we know it. Number one. Modern industries manufacture lots of useful products and technology, but the process has a byproduct, toxic waste, which is anything that can cause serious health problems or even death. Every second, about 310 kilograms of toxic chemicals are released into the environment. Since the start of this video, about 12,000 kilos of harmful and sometimes deadly pollutants have already been let loose. By the end of the year, it'll be about 10 million tons, or almost 4 million giraffes, which end-to-end -end could go more than halfway around the world. So where does all of this toxicity come from? Well, we use a lot of minerals and metals in our everyday life, and the whole process of getting them out of the ground releases mercury, lead, and other toxins into the environment. This can contaminate the ground and water, and if vaporized and breathed in, these toxins can cause developmental disorders and affect the central nervous system. The truth is that 90% of the world's youth are breathing toxic air and no one knows what the long-term consequences will be. Number two, plastic waste is near the top of the list for having the ability to royally screw up humanity's future. Plastics are great, but they come with a lot of problems. First, when people digest small plastic particles, they can seep dangerous chemicals into the body. And then there's the waste. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch in the Pacific Ocean is one of the most glaring examples. There's an estimated 1.6 million square kilometers of trash floating between California and Hawaii. That's like three Frances put together. All of this garbage is wrecking havoc on the ocean life and could eventually end up back in our bodies. Above ground, there are countless other landfills choked with plastic waste, which scientists estimate could need up to a thousand years to decompose. And since plastics have only been around since 1907, no one knows what the real long-term effects on the Earth will be. Number three, we've had nuclear power plugged into commercial grids since 1954. Now there are 450 plants operating worldwide with more under construction. The waste generated from them is potentially the most dangerous of all due to the amount of time radioactive materials remain harmful. Stronium-90 and cesium-137 lose half their radioactivity in about 30 years, but plutonium-239 takes 24,000 years. This is serious. How do we plan to keep radioactive waste safe for that long? Right now, there's no good answer. Permanent disposal sites are few in number and far between and generally consist of what's called deep geological disposal, which is just a fancy name for holes anywhere between 250 to 5,000 meters deep. Radioactive waste gets packed in metal containers, lowered in, then filled over. Critics say this may lead to disaster. An earthquake or a groundwater flow could spread radiation far and wide. And since it doesn't have any odor or color, those affected may not even know they've been contaminated until it's too late. Number four. In order to get many products ready for human use and consumption, they need to go through chemical processes, which can create lots of harmful environmental waste. In Southeast Asia, tanneries alone produce up to 7.7 .7 million liters of wastewater and nearly 80 million tons of solid waste every single day. Due to a lack of regulations and enforcement, many factories just dump them straight into rivers and lakes, contaminating the water and potentially causing sickness and severe developmental disabilities. In the worst affected areas, children are born with birth defects, lose 30 to 40 IQ points, and life expectancy can be as low as 45 years because of cancer and other diseases. Number five. Did you know that it takes 9,500 liters of water, five and a half kilos of grain, 16 kilos of topsoil, and the energy equivalent of almost four liters of gasoline to produce just 450 grams of fedlot beef? So when meat is thrown out because it's past its expiry date or just left on the plate, all those resources go to waste as well. This goes for all food. 
And in many cases, the deforestation and pesticides needed to grow the food or raise livestock also contribute to the waste problem. In America, healthy dieters who eat more fruits and vegetables have actually been found to be the most wasteful, tossing out tons of produce every single year. So what do you think is the answer?